Hey guys, welcome back to episode two of the EV Falcon. Um, on this episode, I'll be doing the starting the repairs that I mentioned on the previous episode, and hopefully, we'll get this thing driving today. If it's just the ignition and the fuel pump, it should should fire up. Hopefully, I don't even know if there's fuel in it. I should have checked that. I have to do a run to the servo and get some jerry cans empty. All right, hope you enjoy. All right guys, welcome back. All right, I got the ignition barrel out. That's the original one. Um, see, here's the bracket here where I cut it. Um, cut it there and just hammer it off. So I don't have a key, don't care. Um, they're, yeah, they're identical. They're the same, everything's the same. Just this is missing these two lengths here. Just gotta bridge them over. And then this bit here, cut this off, just loops up on itself anyway. And then these bits here as well, cut them off. And then see the red with black, and then red with black. So they will join up, and all this crud will go. Um, yeah, so I'll do that, got my soldering iron up there, get that out, and yeah, she works. So hopefully, there isn't much more to it. I don't think the smart lock is going to matter, because it's just the ignition barrel. But I might need to get a remote to program it, which is easy, I'll just head down to super cheap order or something and grab it. Alright, tune back in once I've done it. All right, that one's all together. Soldered it on. Um, yeah, go hook it up now. Then I'll grab the battery and see how it goes. Hopefully, hopefully it's all good. Oh, that's heavy. All right, battery. Let's do it. Hopefully they reach around their own way. That's weird. Right. In. Yeah. Yeah, cool. And then sort of. Yeah, alright, that'll go on. Alright, let's try this. Oh! Um, alright, so this one goes that way. Uh, I'm just going to put you down. There we go. That one's on. Oh, where'd that little one go? Should be right there. Hang. What's this one? Alright, that's off. Alright, let's see what happens. Nothing's happening. Nothing's burning. Alright, let's see what happens when we start it. Well, crank it. What I need to do is make sure it's in neutral. Yeah. 
This gear stick. I think it's from a Holden. Looks like a VN one or something. Uh, neutral. Let's see what happens now. Ooh. We got lights. Smart lock's flashing. Oh no. I bet nothing happens now. Oh. Oopsie. Dropped it. Hold on. Hmm. Lame. Yeah, nothing. I think Well at least it works and we get power I don't think they got a neutral switch, do they? No. Alright. Well, that's something. Got power now. Go ahead and hook that battery. So, would it be, would I need to get the smart lock unit from the car that I got the key from? Might have to make some phone calls and look into it. This window, it's not just cracked, but it's just, I don't know if you can see it, it just scratches. Like someone's put an angle grinder to it. Yeah, alright, well. Get off. Hmm. Alright, do some Googling and I'll figure this out. Stay tuned. Alright, just did some Googling and apparently all you do is hook the. Yeah, new, new barrel and ignition key. Put it to the on position with the battery hooked up and leave it for half an hour and then this smart lock here that will stop flashing and it'll just go solid and apparently as well the 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 doors will cycle through just like when you program the remotes they'll cycle through lock and unlock so while that's happening i will um get the fuel pump out and put this new one on Alrighty. Yeah, alright. A lot of crap in there. Dirt. Um, just gonna chuck this on the roof. You don't blow away now. <laughs> alright, so I was crawling through the other day. That's the. Uh, yeah, whatever it's called. Locks the fuel pump one. See, the floor is a bit burnt up when I was loading it on the other day. When I was jacking it up from down here, the jack slipped off and went under and just smashed it up. But I stepped on it and it bends back, so I'll just jump on it later. Had to mash that up because it's see, rusted in there. Yeah, couldn't get a spare tire out. Um, yeah, it's got the jack. So yeah, that's what old mate did. I couldn't get two screws out, so he just went full, full burger on it. Smells like fuel, so there must be fuel. Now I might get... That's moving with my finger. What's wrong with him? Okay. No, oh my god, he just... He just ripped it out! Jammed something in here, and just ripped it. Didn't he have a screwdriver? Oh, I don't like to speak ill of anyone, but 
No oh, wait. But you know what I mean. Alright, well that one's a bit it's moving, but it's getting jammed. Alright, I'm gonna go get a couple of things to get that out. Just a screwdriver, I suppose. Um <laughs> yes. Oh, it's full of animal hair. What is this? Oh, it's the seal. Yeah, right, I'm going to get a special tool for that. Hmm. Oh, there it is on the ground over there. Stop flashing. Uh, I can't reach it. <sighs> It's one of those round screwdrivers. Alright, bass grips. I'll be back. Alright, got the plate off. I just used it like a screwdriver and just turned it heaps when it came out. Um, hooked all these off. Just struggling because he's. I mean, he's obviously taken that off. Unless it's cracked. Nah. Alright. He's um Yeah, hooked it all back on. God, there isn't a new fuel pump on this and it's not the problem. Uh, I'll try and get you guys to watch. Chances are I need to get a phone holder. <laughs> nah. Alright. I'll um Get it out and get you guys back and have a look. Alright, she's out. Um, yeah, I can't really see any of that. Stinks, that is old fuel. Look at the crud in there. Um, well, I'm just gonna run it because I'm just topping up some fresh stuff. But if look at this, he's obviously done something and used electrical tape to tape it up inside the fuel tank. I mean, like, the glue is like, feels like grease. <sighs> These people. That hole. Oh. Yeah, that's... That's not too bad. I got a new one anyway. And again, you can't see what I'm doing, because I'm an idiot. Alright, let's go get this on the bench. I'll close that. Because the lights on. I've had ignition on for half an hour. Don't battery to drain easier. Fucking idiot. Look at this. Let's see if that stopped flashing yet. I mean, it's only been like 10 minutes. But... Nope. I bet that doesn't work because that's my luck. Alright. My workspace is trashed. I just always on the go doing something, never return a cleaner. Okay, here we got the tape. Let's get it off. Hmm. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to. I need to get a stand. It's been lazy. Uh, do, do, do. How can I do it like this? Alright, hope that works. First thing you want to do is clean up your work. Move it all aside. Um, there's a cloth. Get out of here now.
Just when they clean it, so when you put the new fuel pump and that on, you don't want to get any sh extra mess on it. Alright, first thing here, we'll get this tape off. Let's see if you can see that. Yep, cool. Alright, tape off, we're losing the stick. Oh, this is disgusting. Hmm, the fuel pump doesn't look bad. Looks like a new one. So yeah, um, gross. It's not even. God, oh, just oh man, I just hate it when people touch things they don't already doing. Right, this isn't meant to be taped on. Sure. It's not even. It wasn't even. I don't know. Sorry, you guys can see it. It wasn't even put on properly. Now look, more tape. You don't put tape in petrol. Ah, these connectors. It's not even like... I wouldn't even be surprised if he's putting the fuse on it. I should have checked that. Just, just twist it on. It's not even soldered or anything. I would use connector plugs, personally. This is... Yes, I'm using scissors. So we have tried it before. It works really well. Alright, cool. Now that my fingers are all sticky and shit. <laughs> like... Is there a plug? You don't... Didn't never need to cut that. Oh man, you know what, let's just see if it works, we'll bench test this old one. Where are they? We. <laughs> I got them hooked up. Am I still in frame there? Just. There we go. Uh, I'm going to say blue is positive and black is negative. There you have it. Pump works. I might have to look up some pictures here and see how this is meant to. All right, what, what is going on here? Right. Oh, that stinks. Um, get the new fuel pump. We'll have a look at that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good. All right, we got. Well, immediately it looks different. All right. Okay. Look at this.
That is not for that car. He's going to jam some other fuel pump in there. That's one I think makes sense. <sighs> Overseas, you know, join that on there. So the original plug, which would be perfect for here, doesn't exist. <clears throat> At least it's positive and negative. Fun fact, if you didn't know, the big one's always a positive, little one's always a negative. Okay, see that. Even if you can... Yeah. Alright, anyway... So, I don't know what game he was playing, but that's for probably a little four-cylinder or something. It's tiny. I wonder if it's got the... No, it doesn't, even, doesn't say anything on it. Oh yeah, positive negative. Okay, um, can't use that. Nope. Plugs it is. That's why that didn't. Make, that's why he had it taped on here. Cause that, I'm sure. Yeah, that goes down through there. And that's where the filter comes on through like that. But that one was way too short to reach it. So <laughs> get to it. Man, some people. What is this? That clamp is just on there. Oh, my screw drives through. Oh, it's this one. Cool. This is my bashing screwdriver. I just all my other ones are down at the car. Okay, so yeah, it goes that way. Not even sure. Is that meant to be bent now? What, is, what does this do? I don't know. I don't know what that does. I'm assuming that's not meant to be bent. There we go. So, I would imagine. Sorry, that way. It goes through there. I would imagine. Yeah, there you go, it'll be like that. Um, just a bit of rubber hose will go there, clamp it on and these wires. Obviously that's the length they're supposed to be. I'll just clamp some joiners on them. Do that other way. That one is there, yeah. Yeah, alright. I'll um Get that done and bring you guys back. There's no point you sitting there watching that be boring. All right. Hey guys, I'm still doing the fuel pump up there, but I just heard the, the Falcon go through the lock and it must mean the key's programmed. I'm excited. Yep, it's gone away. <laughs> oh man. No, it wasn't neutral, yeah? For the clutch anyway. Let's see what happens. Mate. That is the best feeling. <laughs> yes. I wish I installed it. I hope I don't unplug it accidentally when I'm hooking it on. Go do that again. But yes, that is awesome. So now I'll get that fuel pump in. Should fire up. I'm lucky that starter motor on the back floor there. That must be the old one or something. I don't know. It's a mystery. <sighs> oh man, I just feel so good. That is awesome. I thought it was one of these things I'd read it and be like, oh yeah, cool, and I'll do it, and then it wouldn't work for me. That normally happens. Alright, All right, I'm just putting the, um, what do you call it, spade connectors onto the fuel pump here, and I'll hook it on, look at my face, yeah, it's there, and the blue one for negative, they're perfect, I'll get it on there, I might run a couple little cable ties around here somewhere, just so it holds it a bit better, because I don't know if it's missing something now, yeah, alrighty. I will sort that out. I don't know. 
Oh, I'll, I'll make it work.